What's going on guys? My name is Jack or Jack the Bus and welcome to my full guide on the nine Easter egg. I'm just gonna jump right into it, but really quick, drop a like on the video as this took quite a while to make, so any kind of support at all would be much appreciated. Let's shoot for 50 likes. If you are new to the channel, be sure to drop a sub for daily Black Ops 4 content and let's get started. So to start off, you're gonna wanna open a pack and punch by ringing all the gongs and defeating all the champions and then placing all the heads on the stabs down in the temple, just in case you didn't know how to do so already. Now, once this is done, you're going to be looking for a certain skull in the temple with a symbol on its head much like this. It's going to be in one of these locations, and just pause if you need to. As you can see in this video, I run up these steps here, and I'm going to find it right around this area. It's kind of hard to spot at first, but once you do, you're going to pull out your special weapon, and it's going to pop right out of the wall, and you're going to pick it up. Now, if you don't already know how to make Sir Kett's Kiss, I'm going to run through it real quick. I do have a full video on my channel, so I'll drop a link in the description for that. So you're going to shoot the fireball, head right up to the drawbridge find where exactly the stone head is. I'm gonna find it in Ra's temple. Pick up the acid trap parts, one on that side of the temple and then one's gonna be on the other side under the staircases. And then you're gonna complete your three challenges in order to get the bowl for the last part. You're gonna build the acid trap, throw the stone head down right below it, Activate the acid trap so it can melt away and reveal the scorpion key and then just wait for that to finish grab the scorpion key and then you're going to wait for the crowd and for them to throw you a gift from Sir Ket. You're going to pick that up just so you can fill it with poison. Take it to Danu's temple, you know, knife the tree, put the little cup down, wait around for it to fill up with poison. Once that's done, you're going to pick that up, take it over to the mystery box, put it in the side of the mystery box, roll the mystery box, and then that's going to give you the death of Orion. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and take that over to the Pack-a-Punch machine, Pack-a-Punch it, and you have Sir Ket's kiss, which you're going to need for a step in a little bit. So once you have that, you're going to take the skull over to this room. You're going to find a grinder either in this location, right across the room in this location, which you can see I found one there, and then in the same room right in the front of the room in that location. So you're going to throw the skull down, shoot a fully charged shot at it so it gets rolling. As you can see, I, I wait for a little bit because you're going to need to shoot another fully charged shot at it right when it finishes. So I go ahead and shoot another one once it stops, and once that's done, you're going to wait for it to finish, and by the time it's done, it should have, the skull should just kind of disappear from the grinder as it, it ground the skull up into just dust, and you'll see it disappear, and then you'll pick up the dust, it should give you a voice line, you can head on. So next you're going to lure one of the axe guys into the arena, and you're going to bait him into throwing his axe at one of the pylons in the middle like that. You'll see the little piece fall off right there on the ground. I'm going to run around for a second just to kind of get them off me, and I'm going to pick up the little piece. And you're going to take that over to Orion's temple and throw it in the little, like, thing, like the holder light right there, and you'll see it go in. And now you're going to wait a couple rounds for it to heat up, and then it'll be charcoal, and you'll grab that for a part later on. So next you're going to want to get rid of your crowd affinity. You're going to want to make the crowd hate you, so you can either do this by throwing grenades into the crowd or running into the fire constantly. Once this is done, you'll see the thumb, like, completely down. You'll see crowd affinity item available, and they will throw something in, and it will end up being poop. So once you have the poop, the charcoal, and the dust, you're going to take it down to Zeus's temple and put it in this bowl all together, and it's going to take about one round for it to turn into fertilizer. Once that's done, you're going to see green smoke coming off of it, you're going to pick that up and head over to Danu's temple, where you're going to put it in between both of these trees. This is going to take a little bit longer, it usually takes around two or three rounds, typically three, and during this step, you're going to want to get a firebomb uh, upgrade for your pack-a-punched weapon. Once the fertilizer is ready in between the two trees, you'll see it smoking green again, and you're going to lure a zombie on to it and shoot him with the firebomb. Once that's done, it'll flash white like it just did and cracks will appear on the ground. Now you and your teammates will want to pull out your special weapons and start kind of hitting zombies and holding square just in case like you need to interact with it. But typically whenever I did this, all that was needed was a gladiator down there and once we started hitting him, it's going to flash white and it's going to transport you to a different version of Danu's temple. So once you're here, you're going to immediately want to start shooting the red spores on the tree. Typically I had one teammate shoot the spores as one other uses Sir Ked's kiss to kind of keep zombies off of you. You'll move on to the next section every time once you've completely melted the spores down and they drop a max ammo. So once that's done, you'll see the max ammo come out and you'll head up the stairs to the next section and you'll take that floor by floor doing the exact same method every time where 
you have one player shoot at the red spores and then one player shoots their cat's kiss to kind of keep the zombies off of you. If you're doing this solo, it's easier to just shoot one big like charge of Sir Cat's kiss and then just melt the tree. You won't have a ton of zombies solo. So as you can see on the third floor, you're going to have the very last section on this large tree. And once that's done, it'll flash white. Now for the next section, you're going to need the shield and here are all the shield parts. Just pause if necessary, if you don't know where they are yet. Now once you do have the shield, you're going to find these bull circles around the map. As you can see right here, I found one and I'm going to shoot it with the shield. It lights on fire immediately and this is going to spawn a little bit stronger gladiator in the map. And you're going to want to do this four times with four different circles and they're going to spawn different spots every game. Once you kill this gladiator, you're going to see him lift into the air and his soul will kind of like he'll like explode and his soul will go to Ra's temple. You're going to want to do this five times and the locations are here in the flooded crypt. Over on the drawbridge in between Zeus and Odin. Down in Danu's temple. Over in between Odin's and Zeus's temple's entrance. In this barrier in the pit. Over in the temple where, where I found mine. And then in the main arena right up there. In Ra's temple through this barrier all the way through there. And then the last one's in Danu's altar room through this barrier as well. So once you've shot four bull symbols and you've defeated four gladiators, there should be a symbol lit up on Ra's temple just right there. And you're going to need to know this chart. This is going to display all the enemies you need to kill and in what order. And the one missing is the Blight Father. So if you don't see it, it's going to be that one. So you're going to want to have both players hold square on that. And it's going to light up with four symbols. These are going to be the four enemy types that you're going to have to kill in a specific order. So in this one, you're going to see Water, Tiger, Gladiator, Fire. So you're going to have to kill Water, Tiger, Gladiator, and Fire in that order. So I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like whenever you do fail this. I send another teammate to that section. I'm going to be trying to shoot the Water at first and I actually hit the Fire and the fire explodes killing the others. So you killed them out of order, so you're gonna have to progress through around and restart. Whenever you do it successfully, you'll flash white and all these symbols will remain on the little stand right there and it'll start to etch in another symbol. Once it finishes etching in the symbol, you're gonna have your teammate come up again and you're both gonna hold square on that and you're gonna have to do it one more time. So as you can see, it's going to pop up with fire and then that's the blight father one and then poison and then for the last one, water. So you're gonna do that one more time, and once you do that successfully, it's going to do the same thing where it flashes white. Once you've done this, Ra has been appeased, and you can move on to the next god. For this next one, you're gonna head underground, and you're gonna find these poles that are sticking out, and you're gonna shoot all of them until they kind of turn to the surface. So the first one is in Odin's tunnel, and then the other is going to be in the collapsed tunnel right there. And as you can see, I come back for it because you can't shoot it at a certain angle. You have to keep shooting it until it raises all the way to the top just like that. Another one is going to be in the cursed room through this barrier. And then the last one is going to be in the flooded crypt through another wall. Once this is done, you're going to have all your players go to the surface in the arena and the poles will now be sticking out of the ground and there'll be uh, there'll be electricity coming off them just like that one. So for this step, you're going to need the kilowatt repack effect and you're going to want to kill zombies in these little electric circles with the kilowatt effect. And you can see whenever it works, you'll see the little beam shoot up to the pole and you will shoot these until the little orbs are glowing and that means you finished one of them and you're going to do all four. So once this is done, there will be four orbs in the middle. Just have every player hold on one of the orbs and it will transport you to a new stage. So in this stage, you're going to have a pretty much unlimited of your power up and you're going to face a ton of just large enemies like tigers, gladiators, and brawlers. Once the stage is done, you'll see your usual flash of light, and that means you've completed it successfully. So you're going to want to head back underground and find these specific symbols on the walls. You're going to have to shoot them at exact angles, so like in Danu's tunnel, I jump up and hit it exactly like that. If you do it correctly, they should stay lit up, and you're going to need to do this two more times with other symbols, which I will show you here. So the next one's going to be over in the pit, and you're going to look through this wall and shoot it exactly like that. Once again, it stays lit up, meaning you did it correctly. 
The last one's going to be a little bit more difficult over under Zeus, where it's through this wall. And you have to shoot at a very specific angle, like I said. But once it is correct, it should have a little circle of light on it, and you will know it is done. Once these symbols are lit up, you're going to want to head over to the pit and make sure you have ammo and stuff stocked up because this is going to be a little bit longer of a stage. You're going to have all the players stand on this little grate in the middle. You should hear like a clink sound and then just have one of your players pull out your special weapon just in case it needs it to transport you there. So for this stage, you're going to have to endure uh, like several stages of different zombies. So you're going to have like a tiger stage, a elemental zombie stage, a regular zombie stage, and it's going to finish it off with the blight father stage. In between these stages, you should get max ammo, so don't worry about that, but you should still conserve it. So once you're done with the Blight Father stage, you should see the key right underneath the grate there, and you're just going to have one of the players pick it up, and it should give you a voice line, another flash of light, and you'll be transported back to the main map. Now congratulations, you are almost there, you're just going to head right into the boss fight in the main arena here, make sure you're stocked up on weapons, but you should get some max ammo inside as well. So once you're in here, you're going to have a couple stages of zombies through brawlers and tigers and stuff. Once that's done, you should get a giant elephant coming barreling into the arena. The elephant's main weak point is going to be on its sides where its armor is, and once you've shredded all of its armor off, you should be able to tell as it will have kind of a glowing thing on its forehead, which is going to be actually be its weak spot. And be careful because it does shoot kind of lava little pits around the map, so as you can see I got pretty low there. But once it's done, you should see the first elephant fall onto the ground, meaning you've completed the first half of this boss fight, and then its soul will transfer into another elephant, which will come barreling out of the second spot. Now this is going to work the exact same way as the first, you're just going to kind of shoot the sides of of the elephant until the armor falls off. Be careful of the guys up top as well because they do throw kind of like flaming stabs at you and they do quite a bit of damage. As you can see, one hits me right here and it does about 105, which is a decent amount because it puts you pretty low. You can see the elephant also can throw you into the air like it does here. It doesn't kill me or anything, but it does about half my health. So just be careful of being barreled into like that. You'll be able to tell once the armor is gone very easily because the guys on top will no longer be there and the elephant will be completely bare. And once again, you can just kind of shoot the sides with the main point being its weakness on its forehead. Once this is done, you'll see the elephant fall and that will be the end of the Easter egg. You'll be rewarded with a cutscene and a trophy. And yeah, guys, I hope this guide helped you out a lot. I'll let you go ahead and watch the cutscene and I will do the outro right after. <laughs> Notum proclamation dictates you must grant us clemency. You should not have knowledge of such texts. You are but an ignorant slave. I know more than you think, and I'm nobody's slave. What are you talking about, Scarlet? Get your filthy hands off me! This can't be happening!
So yeah guys, this is going to be it for the video. I hope this did help you out a lot. Let me know down in the comments if it did, and if you want any more Easter egg guides in the future. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that big boy bell. This did take me a long time to make, and drop a like just in case, and again, let's shoot for 50 likes. And uh, yeah guys, that's going to be it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.